I feel like, you know, just being genuine and sincere. That's all it is. And you know what I mean? That's like, why I fuck with you, because you genuine and sincere. Even when you're wrong, it's just genuine. <laughs> and I know it comes from a good place. And I know you're not doing it in a place of math. Like, you have a real heart, but <laughs> have a heart for the wrong shit. <laughs> <laughs> So what do you think um, people could do to expand their horizons if they want? What are the, what are the first places people should travel? Just out your neighborhood, shit. <laughs> you ain't gotta be far. <laughs> like when I say travel, it's not so much the destination. It's just get out of your comfort zone. You know. So you even when I even on my social media, I I follow shit that I don't know shit about. Right. Cause I I I'm one of them niggas. I hate being in the club and everybody know the song but me. Mm. You see what I'm saying? That's how I am in life. I don't want to be somewhere and everybody know what's going on with me. Mm. So that's how I learned in life. What's the best book you read? I don't read. <laughs> I learned through life. I'm trying, and that ain't a good thing. I'm trying to learn to read. I'm trying to learn. I read like two I books in my life. I expeditiously first. I I I, I, try, I read two books. Okay, I, which ones were those? I read the uh, the Motley Crue book. Okay. That shit hard. What what's it? It's called Crown. Or, they made a movie about it with Machine Gun Kelly. Okay. That them motherfuckers was wild. Uh huh. I read that what book. What you learn when you read that book? They was just wild. Like it was just they shit was just it was like, like entertaining book. I don't know. I don't. I ain't even talk about that on here because right, that shit is going viral or something. Come on, let's go. Um, <laughs> um, what else I'm saying? <laughs> it's a Miley Crew. The Miley Crew book. Was oh, and I read. I think the Fifty Laws of Power. Some shit like that there, yeah, but. The 50 laws. I, I'm trying to read The Alchemist. Alchemist is a good book. My sister got me that. I, ain't I think got that it. should be. The, I think that should be like a, if you're not a reader, yeah. The Alchemist I believe should be a person's first book that gets them. Into I mean, it. I think reading and code is one of ever. I think we just at a point code like is one of a I learned through book. visually, and I learned a lot through watching shit, just television a lot mm. growing up and watching movies. Like I'm a movie buff and. I studied a lot of stuff like that. There's so a lot of stuff I learned. Through but that. that's the stuff they want you to know. Nigga, the same shit in the books. Books is stuff people want you to know too. Mm -hmm. It's just another person interpretation. It's hidden information. It's hidden information in, in, in shit. Too. The Matrix is hidden. It's hidden information in your music. It, everything <laughs> is a form. It's hidden information in my my posts. Anything I say, it's hidden. <laughs> it's 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 hidden information. All this shit is a form of 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 a Bible. And that's how you have to treat it, even in everything you do. A form Cause, of a Bible. Yeah, because 100 years from now, they're going to be dissecting everything we talking about now. Even this shit here. Uh. This shit going to be hieroglyphics. Stay woke. <laughs> now, you have a new show, you say. Oh, yeah, I do. Let's talk about your new show. Oh, it's called Black Cousteau, you know. Black it's, Cousteau. Yeah, it's just like showing me doing, kind of like, you know how Jerry Seinfeld had um, coffee and Okay, comedians and cars getting comedians coffee. Comedians and coffee. I'm doing kind of like the same mm. thing where I go out, take people that ain't never experienced, not just entertainers or celebrities, but just like regular folks that ain't they ain't never been in been outside they norm. Mm. I'm just showing them something outside they norm. So something like that. Damn. Okay. So you mean like you gonna travel and go like the exotic places? It don't have to exotic be exotic places. It's just showing you something that you ain't seen. That's what it's. That's I'm what, trying to talk about traveling, man. Traveling is that's traveling. I just told you what traveling was. Getting outside your world. But I'm talking about seeing places that most people haven't seen. I'm trying to tell all the people all the extravagant places that you've. Traveled. Oh, I've been everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. The fuck. I've been everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like what? What? what like, do you have you climbed mountains and shit like that? Yeah, I, I done done everything you could think you would want to do, man. Okay, you know, so yeah. I mean, I, I, and I ain't just saying it to say it, but yeah, you here, you got, I, you flexed on me like a motherfucker just did. I mean, I've done, I've really seen and done it all. You did the gliding shit, the body gliding shit. Oh, uh, I ain't done that one yet, but okay. Oh yes, I have in South Africa. I forgot you did the body gliding. Shit. Yeah, but I did it with somebody holding on to me though. Do that count? I don't know. Oh, but win is a win, yeah. About, <laughs> win is a win. The motherfucking way up suit where you spread your arms. No, hell no. I ain't did the squirrel shit. I want to do that, but I, I don't trust That's my... body glide. Oh, I thought you was talking about where you on the thing with the wings. Nah, it's hang glide. Oh, well, whatever. I done that shit. <laughs> I done been places I can't even pronounce for real, like... 
Uh-huh. I think, what was that place? Like, the Maldives. And you, you the one corrected me one time. Yeah. Well, I said Maldives. Yeah, Maldives. Yeah. I've been there, man. I mean, the Maldives. You mean the Maldives, sir? Been there. <laughs> so or, what, nigga? So what if you can say it? I, I, I'm here. Ain't been nowhere ass, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what makes you select? I think if you saw more, it'll help you more in your shit. I think it'll make you see the biggest scheme of everything. I, I think mean, that's the only thing that, that stops like you from growing I, mentally. I think that's when I started seeing more. Not so much the world, but I'm just seeing how they other, just seeing it, seeing it outside of our world. Uh-huh. And it'll help our culture even more. I think that that's when I started really got them becoming conscious of, of my platform and, and what I can do for the generation. I didn't give a fuck about a generation before. I mean, I just care about getting paid like everybody else. You know what I'm saying? I, I never ca- did. Yeah, so what, nigga? You're perfect. Fuck you. I didn't say I was perfect. <laughs> nigga, what the fuck you mean? Yeah, when my kids start daughter getting daughter older and shit. My daughter 12 now and shit. Damn. She ain't out in the world. Nah, you talking oh, about nah. 16. Oh, that's why you, I feel like it's my job to make the world better for my daughter. And that's what I started <laughs> feeling once they start getting that. Being the change you want to see. Mm. Like I when I when I'm when I'm doing being me, if I don't want that type of shit, I try to I want my daughter to be with somebody like me or better. You know what I'm saying? So right. it, so shit, that's where I try to be. I definitely want my daughter to have somebody better than me. Yeah, that's what I'm supposed to be. But I, my, like I want my if your kids ain't smarter than you, you dumb. Like absolutely. that's they that's you don't that's I feel, a hell. <laughs> I feel Cause like it ain't hard to be smarter than the next generation. Like we dumb compared to them niggas automatically. I feel like, you know, just being genuine and sincere. That's all it is. And you know what I mean? That's like, why I fuck with you, because you genuine, sincere. Even when you wrong, it's just genuine. <laughs> and I know it comes from a good place. And I know you're not doing it in a place of math. Like, you have a real heart, but <laughs> have a heart for the wrong shit. But, <laughs> so, Gip, tell me, what, what's wrong with me, man? Tell me, nothing wrong with you. Tell you me just, what's wrong with me. What, tell me what you I You move with your wrong. heart first, and you move with what you... No right there, you know. Uh huh. And then you, then afterwards, it's like, all right. How can I prescribe to the 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 gospel of Duval? Sit back and wait, like yeah. before you, you know, they say take like take a step back and think about it for a second, uh-huh. then, cause like nigga, you you nigga that phone, goddamn you right there, and then you're like, shit, I shouldn't have said, I should. But I mean, it's just, I feel like you 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 just had a, I mean, you had a time in your life where you you getting there, and once you get there. <laughs> You gonna be the truth. Yeah, man. So you're getting there. Yeah, it's like one of the things you can't teach. You just gotta trust. Life has to, life, and life just, and experience. Has yeah, and just even of. like even watching what you watch, you pay attention and you watch, and after a while, it, each person you pay attention to, it'll come into you eventually, and right. you keep bumping your head a couple times. You be like, all right, <laughs> all right I want to get. And the same thing with me. I had to learn like if I, because everything I do is genuinely for the betterment of everybody else, but I had to learn if I'm trying to teach, I gotta learn how to teach. That's real. You know what I'm saying? If if I really wanna get it out there, because everybody don't learn like me. Yeah, see, that's real. I think you I teach I, mean? I think I teach the way I learn. Yeah, this. I do too. We yeah, all, as men, yeah. we all do, I think. If you was a real one, you know what I'm saying? So I had to learn everybody, especially with women. I had to learn women don't don't learn. Like I talk with everybody like, I, like barbershop talk. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's how I talk to everybody. Right. But, it didn't, it didn't dawn on me, and I didn't realize till social media, cause social. You talk to your daughter like that? As far as what, like, barbershop talk? The way you talk. I'm to getting there. I'm about to get there. <laughs> okay, and we also uh, are, are part of the same group uh, that uh, incorporates thought prevention hours. Come on now, and the thought prevention lives. program, you thought know. Prevention program. You gotta put them you. hours in. God damn it. Yeah. That's what I do, and, and that's the thing. It don't take much. You just gotta be there. Yeah. That's all it is. That's true. This shit ain't hard. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Be there and, and try to be an example because they are watching. You know what I'm saying? Like, we watch. And you got to think, too, they watch. And that's why I say we got to make the world right when we have the, the power that's to do it. That's a hell of a feat. It, I mean, it is, Making but as long as you... the world right. I'm talking about, but you can put... If we all do it together, we can put that in the atmosphere to the same way we put in the atmosphere, bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. Wait we can put in the atmosphere. Wait a minute, wait a minute. What? 
Just like there's a bitches ain't shit but hoes a trick. There's a I, I know need the children of the future. There is, there's but I'm saying too. Don't worry, be but, happy. But don't get, but nigga, you there's know goddamn smile, well. Bitch. But the niggas that look like <laughs> us is listening to us. You see uh, what I'm saying? The niggas that look like us are listening to us. Like nigga, we didn't listen to our mamas and I didn't listen to my mom and daddy growing up. I listened to niggas I looked up to, which was niggas. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? But you so you still made it the way you are. Though. I got lucky. It's a lot of <laughs> other niggas didn't. A bunch of other niggas didn't. God got me here. There's there's a lot of niggas that had the same shit, did the same thing. Yeah. Nigga, I'm the only. Well, I ain't gonna say I'm the only nigga that made it successful because niggas made stuff a lot of other stuff. But I can't name nobody out my hood that's got this far in entertainment. You see what I'm saying? Well, so you from fucking Jacksonville. That's my bro. point. So you have to be the per you have to be an example. You are what you see. We all are what we see. You are what you saw. You are what you saw. We are what we see. Nah, man. Yes, we are. You are what you I see. I didn't see this shit. Nigga, you are I'm talking I didn't about see the, it physically. I saw it in my head. No, I'm I'm not talking about the entertainment part. I'm talking about the man you are. Oh. The the morals, the values, okay. the everything like that. Right. You are. You you instill that it's just like you like you as a as a as a child, your your child has every child. From what I seen, they all got a piece of you in you. Right. Well, a lot of that's just genetically, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> just in you. But at the same time, they all mimic the person they see. You right. know what I'm saying? And sometimes it's that. Sometimes when you're dealing with the butterfly effect, it could be just a nigga drove by in the car beat. You like, you don't even realize that's in your head, but that's what made it say, I'm gonna go rap. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And something as simple as that. He rode by in the car, he had the jury and said, I'm gonna go rap. Something as simple as that. So that's all what was around you. So you gotta build that world around you to where to where the next generation The next generation will have to surpass you. And I, I, I They're gonna do it with or without us though. Now whether we reap the benefits in our culture, that's up to us. So how much weed do you smoke? If I can keep counting, I don't smoke enough. <laughs> <laughs> hey, where did you know you wanted to be an actor? All that shit. Y'all don't be listening to me, huh? Man, I know you said listen. I said all that shit coming to one. I want to do all that shit. I know it, but you got to, there's different forms. Like, for instance, if you want to be an actor, you want to be in a movie, you want to be on TV. As I want a to be an entertainer. Then you. All right, but there's That's different everything. forms of entertainment. Yeah, and whichever way I could facilitate. If I want to, if I want to get something out in acting, I do that. If I want to get something out, but on what, the, what determines whether or not you? If it's available, goddamn it, <laughs> shit. <laughs> shit be simple. I don't know. Now we what trying to make got, these deep ass <laughs> interviews. Like shit. If this fit me and I think it can be dope, especially at this age, now I do what I want to do. So if I feel like this is beneficial to me or to t whatever I'm trying to do, I'm gonna do it. What's your, what's your dream role? Um, I don't know. I wanna play Jay Prince. I uh, think that'd be dope. Okay. I wanna play- um, You wanna play Jay Prince of rap -a lot Records? Yeah, I feel like it'd be good for the culture. Like the culture need to hear his story. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Um, I wanna, Oh, somebody That's a simple crazy. man. I want to play a simple man. That wouldn't be bad. What you was Jay Prince? Yeah, we. I I told him this. You know what, what I'm he saying? Say? He say, I don't know. He shit. never know. That was a he no. Never that know. was a no. <laughs> I ain't visiting the. No. I mean, we. He I ain't. Like, you know, nigga, you I know. mean, I don't even remember because it was a couple years ago what he said, honestly. Yeah. But I mean, he he showed me love or whatever, you know. And right. he, he yeah. came to my show on the way at. Yeah, now he came to my show. He <laughs> okay. actually came out to see me when he heard that I wanted to do it. That's fine. You know what I'm saying? So that meant he was interested in it. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And that that was enough for me too. You know what I'm saying? But and and from what I, from what I heard, he takes his time, and I take my time, so I get it. And what you is know what I'm that, that, that that now you being a Gemini? How much time do you? What's your attention span like? Short. Because I'm ready to go. I've been ready to go about six, seven times. <laughs> You've been kidnapping, nigga, man. <laughs> I'm your friend, bro. <laughs> you talk like, you know what I'm saying? I'm your, I'm actually your real friend. I know it. And this is how you treat me. It's not treating you like this. <laughs> you see how people take it? I've been here an hour, then you say I'm ready to go. Look how you treat me. <laughs> Nigga, I just said it for an hour. Or two hours, how long we been doing it? Hey. You trying to break Joe Rogan record, had me up in four hours. Nah, man, all right, so look, bro. What's, What's next for Lil Duval? 
Hey, well, let's talk about Rich Broke, bro. You got your clothing line. Oh, you, yeah. The purpose of you being here is to promote your shit, motherfucker. Man, I don't, I'm not a promoter, man. But, I just be me. Like, all this stuff is a reflection of me. I get it. But you want that shit to sell, right? It's cool. <laughs> I don't chase money. I mean, I put it out there. I'm going to get my money, but at the same time, <laughs> if you're doing it from a genuine... This is how it just works for me. I just sell what's me, and I do what's me, and it works for me. But tell I don't about chase the, the money. The money comes. Tell them about the rich, broke lifestyle. Um, The rich, broke lifestyle is just shit. Me. Shit. Lil Duval <laughs> is how I am. You know, I, I live a carefree. I don't stress over money. I get money. You know, I, I, I you need money in a sense, but at the same money time. Money ain't shit until you don't have it. You don't, you're right. No, <laughs> but money same, is not important at all unless no, you and, don't have it. And money don't, you don't realize you need money, you don't realize money ain't shit till you got it. You know what that's I'm saying? Real. Yeah. And that's what. And I once, wish everybody could get rich at least for two so, two or three years. To so, me that rich ain't money though. No, but I'm talking about. Get money. When I, I mean, have money so they don't have to worry about where they're going to get necessities. Yeah. You if you got, but it's about to get to that, though. They about to, shit, they, nah, you see, they- people getting poorer and poorer. I know, but it's about to get to where they, there's no jobs out here for nobody to where, even if they, they'll give a stipend or something to people. You know what I'm saying? I think we the dumb ones out of all the other aliens out of here. Like, we we just figuring this shit out. You think, so you think Earth they is the looking first They look at us like, look at them, look at they just, they just started learning how to get out of there. <laughs> <laughs> they just now learning how to get out. Yeah, yeah. We just think we so smart. We don't know. You don't never know what you don't know. Yeah, that's the shit. Like that's why. I, like once you understand how dumb we are, just think about now. Like we didn't understand. Like say for instance, TVs. Like the TVs look so. The old video looks so blurry now. Mm. Back in the day, that shit looked it perfect. It looked yeah. it clear. Yeah. So that means our minds are. Even our brains ain't even used all the way yet. No. So we, like the shit we think, thinking now is really stupid. <laughs> you know, it's Thinking we, we being smart. Thinking we being smart, <laughs> like we stupid. <laughs> Stay woke. <laughs> I'm deep around this bitch on the low. Man. I just don't, I don't know, I can't use it to my advantage. Are you a real pilot, man? No, I'm getting my, I'm trying to get my pilot license. Yeah. It takes time. That's what I'm gonna do when I like, turn 40. That's dope. Yeah. It's gonna take time though, but it's like flying. It that ain't the hard part. What's That's the, the easy. Part? Paying attention. What you mean paying attention? Knowing what to look for. Knowing when shit get wrong. Like knowing how to how to what happens. Like when shit go wrong. Like taking off and landing and flying is the easy because not, most planes for the last fifty years fly themselves. Yeah. It's just when shit go wrong, mm -hmm. you gotta know what to do. I seen you post somewhere a dude had to land with no landing gear. Yeah, that was hard. How in the fuck did he do that? Nigga being a good pilot, man. Cause like you gotta really be timing it right. You gotta know how to, like you, you gotta really how be How you good. not come down so hard that you come? Some people do, a lot of people die from it. Yeah, I'm saying you come. Like, Cause sometimes your shit might not come out or something or, I mean anything in there. if you produce a spark, that shit gonna hit the gas and you gone. Yeah. Anything in them. That's why that shit was so amazing that a nigga did that shit. You good. I'm nigga. hoisting a bitch. Have you had a have you had one of those kinds of mishaps on your plane and thing like that? No, nah, not yet. Yeah, what is that? Great. We ain't going. We ain't going. Yeah. Nigga, I wouldn't be here if I did. The fuck? Nah, I'm saying, but you could have had a, a, a Oh, like a, something a near, simple. Like a near accident. Something simple. You know yeah. what I mean? That's it. Nah, not at all. I keep my shit up like an airliner. You would keep it up like a, I mean, no, I'm talking about keep the maintenance well, up gotta, on yeah, it. Yeah, you got to do that for certain certifications. Nah, most, all them ones y'all niggas renting, them bitches ain't up to date. Brother, I fly commercial, sir. Well, when you do fly, <laughs> nigga, you fly private. You, Man. You fly private. From time to time. Well, in them time to times, they not keeping them bitches up because they don't give a fuck. I actually have That's a what niggas who don't has know. his own plane. Oh, okay. I fly, you know what I'm saying? I fly with him when I can. He keep his, main, he keep his maintenance up? We here, ain't we? You might got lucky that day. <laughs> man, so you gonna tell everybody what's next for Lil Duval? Man, I'm just, what's next for Duval is me just keep being Duval. So you not Lil Duval no more? I am Lil Duval, I'm, you, I'm little. You, you yeah. call, <laughs> the fuck? So you call yourself Duval, you refer to yourself as Duval. I call right myself there. Lil Duval, I call myself whatever. It okay. don't matter to me, I ain't tripping. 
Okay, man. I'm 43 years old. You care less about shit the older <laughs> you get. Like, whatever. You are visibly agitated right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm, try, I'm trying to end this shit. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm cool, man. I, man, you are visibly agitated, man. We've been friends for over 10 years, bro. <laughs> I think it's been longer than that. Yeah, man. This man. What, what year you did? Um, I'm serious. 2001. That's over 10 years. That's 19. It's gonna be 20 years. Mm-hmm. You've been around me 20 years, can't be in here for two hours. Nigga, I couldn't be around you that long then. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, we spent a lot of time. I did a whole goddamn Jacksonville run. I, I damn had a residency in that motherfucker. Yeah. Shit, man. You can't talk about him. Not to mention shit. the trip on, tripping on Tuesday day. Oh, tripping on Tuesday was love. Yeah, I mean, and I was telling you, man, you need to go ahead and put some shit like that back together, man. Yeah, you was trying to talk me into it, but oh, that yeah. sounds like work. <laughs> it work, bro. Man, you should have your own comedy club, bro. I, I I I think that's great. Why that's would you say that? Because now all these people are finna be in my comments talking. Yeah, bro. You should. That's what they need to do. You need to be motivated, man. You need to be motivated. I think that'll bro, be good. I for need the to be a leader for the people. But and you need to have a comedy club in the process. That's that's too much going on. Like you gotta be there. If you the don't. Cook you, ain't you there, hire I gotta people. Drop the wings. You ain't gotta drop no fucking wings, man. You got that. <laughs> you ever heard of delegation of responsibilities? Yeah, but what if them niggas don't want to come? You gotta think we dealing. With our friends are retarded, like you know no, that. No, not your friends. That's the first thing. We're not gonna hire our friends. No, I'm talking about even our coach. Like it ain't that many good workers out there. That's a lie. There are good workers out there. Shit, all right. You just got to find them and pay them. Where you gonna find them at? Man, you got places. All right. I These think Craigslist like, is one of those motherfuckers. Nigga, Craigslist ain't even out no more. It ain't. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> old ass. Is Craigslist out? <laughs> yeah, yeah, huh. Craigslist. That. Ain't nobody on no goddamn Craigslist. <laughs> nobody looking for jobs on Craigslist. <laughs> like looking for job in the newspaper. Like, nah, matter of fact, oh, it's some people. It's a, it's a company that uh, it's a company that advertises on this show, and they help people. Put that sponsor staff in there. and hire. Put that sponsor in I there. wish Come I knew. On. I wish I knew the name of the company right uh-huh. now so I could, but I don't. Uh-huh. What'd you say? Is it Zip Recruiter? Okay, well. It may be Zip Recruiter, but they help you. Like, if you want to get a comedy club, you go to Zip Recruiter, and they give you the best GMs, and you know what I mean? Man, that's going to be in the long, long future when I'm old. In the long, long future. I don't know, man. I got other things I got to do right now. Like what, man? What's on Duval's mind? What God want me to do. Like what? Tell me what God want to do. Move in his way. (laughs) (laughs) Like, but what does that physically mean that you are? Me being me. I've been doing it on this show this whole time. But how did you? But how do you execute it? Like, what do we look for? Watch me. <laughs> Dead serious. Mo- but, watch. People don't listen. <laughs> they follow. But, so I'm gonna give you something to follow. But how do we know if you're doing it right? Nigga, it ain't work. Y'all the ones be complaining about life. <laughs> I'm over here living my best life. I ain't. You know me for a while. You rarely seem. I don't get upset. It's nothing, so you might want to be like me. I ain't saying you wrong, but if what you ain't doing ain't work, what you doing ain't working, you might want to listen to me. You might want to follow what I'm doing. Yeah, so but you so you telling me you happy as you can be. Give me a reason why you think I would be upset. See, <laughs> what, what what you think I should be mad or bothered in my life? Nah, I'm not saying that. I think your life is. I think you've done very well. It ain't nothing to be mad at. This shit but is I'm simple. Just saying, like, but nothing like. So Especially what, like what if you, you what if you what about if you're inconvenienced? If about you, what? Just, just saying, you inconvenience. You got something to do, somewhere to be, and you're just being inconvenient. I'm always on time. That's Clay. <laughs> Clay. No, nah. I'm always on time. But I'm saying, like, 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 if let's say a a a flight is canceled, I've never missed a flight. That's Clay. <laughs> I might be perfect. <laughs> 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 Shit. <laughs> <laughs> you th- <laughs> that's what that's and that's what I was saying when I earlier with that tweet that you called me about. Yeah, it's like you want somebody that's because I know I'm not the only nigga out here like this. So it's like I can't be the only one that think this shit is simple. I mean, so you be wanting somebody simple. to talk to that's somebody that's like on that level so mentally. Basically, so basically, you just want somebody to agree with you. No, not agree with me, just to understand, to, just to go back and forth, like just a. Like a, a a vent thing to understand where you're coming from, cause evidently I'm not stressing off of shit, but the people that come to you with they stress and you try to tell them it, it ain't nothing to stress off, they don't get it. So it's like 
All right. But then, you know what's so funny? I was just, me and Will Packer was talking yesterday mm-hmm. at the game, and it was like, they got, you got, you can't really tell them. You got to, you got to wait for them to yeah. get there. Like, like, so I stopped telling people. I just say, all right, you'll see. <laughs> I tell you that all the time. You're all right. Shit, you know? man. I think everybody have they, they journey. Yeah, that's they a, do. That's, that's what I'm saying. You got to, and that's evolution. why I had to learn to I had to let people fuck up. You gotta, so you know, you try to stop people from it. Yeah. You gotta let them fuck up. Like you gotta, like that's why I always say, like when people ask for money, sometimes I say no. Like this is your test. This is <laughs> you gotta go through this. You do gotta go because this is gonna make you stronger. Yeah. And I don't want to get in the middle of what God. Yeah, is going God on. is doing this. God that's got something God going work. on. God is working in your life. That I do God not want to feel. I'm not. Feeling, that's the devil. If I did that. Get me. <laughs> You know, so it's the same thing, you know. So I have to learn, you have, I have to learn to let people fuck up and let people do their thing and just enjoy the show. Yeah, so you enjoy watching people yeah. fuck up. <laughs> and then I say, I told you so. You say that. I'm a, I told you so ass you, nigga. You ask, okay, so you. Because I like to say. You gloat. I say, yeah, I, and that, I say, don't do that. Are you going to do it? All right, cool. And then and, come back around, what I told you. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's why niggas don't like being around me because I'm really wrong. You rarely, <laughs> so you rarely wrong. And you told me you could slam dunk a basketball. No, I didn't. I didn't tell you that. <laughs> I know what I can and can't do. You said, if you really knew me, if you knew how much I hate being wrong, you would know when I'm talking, I must be right. Like, I hate being wrong. <laughs> I hate it. Like, it's like, fuck, they got me. That's why I even, I didn't realize how bad I couldn't spell till I got on Twitter. Mm. I was like, shit, I'm retarded. Like, what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with me? Because they, and that, that shit made me better, though, because I kept deleting and then, and it's like, shit, I really don't be paying attention. Like, I don't proofread shit. So, it, Damn. they helped me. But has my, it made you a better followers. speller? Yeah, not a better speller. It wasn't the spelling. It was just like not proofreading and not using the right words. Right? Oh, you had like, throwing words around. I didn't know I was that dumb. Like I didn't know. <laughs> but that doesn't make you dumb. I mean, not dumb, but like I didn't know I was. I think smart is being. Gay I'm using. Too. I'm using smart as far as what people think smart is. Like I didn't know I was that well, see, unarticulate. Okay. Well, see. I didn't know I wasn't that ti-ish. Get the fuck out of it. <laughs> Listen, but 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 see, knowing things is one thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's knowledgeable. But you could be knowledgeable and not be smart because you could know some shit but not know how to apply That's it to your problem. I'm not impressed with with them super smart ass motherfuckers. Yeah, well, why? they don't do nothing for me. What you <laughs> Why you look at me like that? <laughs> Say you? Did it hit the dog? Did it hit the dog? Now look how you ate your chip and look that they don't do nothing for me, and then you look at me, man. <laughs> What's up with you? <laughs> 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 How long we been on here, Elliot? I don't like them super smart motherfuckers. Yeah. Don't do nothing to me. So you smart, but you still unhappy. I ain't unhappy. I ain't talking about you. Oh. I'm talking about just how people be. They like Everybody, that. see, happiness is a journey, not a destination. Exactly. Everybody going to be unhappy but, but at hit, certain points in their life. But if you like me and enjoy the journey, you'll be happy. You got to break through. You understand that the, whatever... The discomfort is you're feeling from this momentary, excuse me, this momentary unhappiness is temporary. This too shall pass. If you could just That's hump, the, if you could just endure, it's gonna be happier time. Well, if you understand it ain't that bad, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, definitely. That's all it is. It's like it's not that bad. But most the people, more you hurt, the less it hurts. That was deep. <laughs> Where you got that from? That's you? I just made that shit up just now, man. I'm gonna tweet it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man. Well, listen, bro. I appreciate you, man. I thank you for what you oh, do. Oh, I can bro. go. <laughs> hey, man. I thank you for everything you How do. How long that was, Ellie? That felt longer. Well, damn, bro. That, that, what is you trying to say, man? I'm just fucking with you, nigga. Man, goddamn. See, I I like talking like this because I can talk shit and if they don't get offended. I think I'm being an asshole. It's just how I am. I'm the good guy. I'm a good guy. I just I, I, I think my action show. I'm not going by what I think. I'm going by my my stats. You know, man. It ain't hard to be a good guy, and that's why I went like. If you don't learn nothing from this, it ain't hard to be a good guy. Just one be day we, genuine. One day. Just be genuine. 
Huh? One day we're going to find out you were full of shit about something. <laughs> <laughs> One day it's gonna come out. Good luck. <laughs> we gonna find a man that nigga Duval was fucking finessing the Niggas shit. Niggas been out trying of. to get me like that on social media for years. <laughs> it ain't gonna happen, bro. <laughs> and I'm a comedian. I don't care. <laughs> if I fuck up, I can take my L. Yeah. Like, All right, I fucked up. All right. You know? Yeah, I, hey, listen. I know I'm still a human being, you know? You and I, we actually have like interesting discussions. Like me and you, you know, we, we, we could talk about shit that other people might feel like is off limits and shit. Right. And we understand each other. Even if it's a little too far, you know, sometimes you tell me, hey, Tip, nah, we ain't gonna do that one. Mm -hmm. Let that go. And I do the same thing. Yeah, you're right. But why is everybody so fucking sensitive? Because we took the mental out and everybody moving off emotions first. Mm. So, you smart. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the first thing, and you got the the vehicle. I mean, the equipment to voice it, mm. and it feels like real. Can you think about how long it took you to get a fucking story out in the fucking seventies and the sixties? Nigga, how about this? About how, how hard long, it was? You know how much thinking that take, and how much like. Like reaffirming, yeah, I'm gonna do this, yeah, I'm gonna do this, yeah, I'm gonna do this. You know how hard it was to be a comedian and get on back in the day? It just when I started. Just it, when you started? And I had to actually enough. go to LA, get on stage, and hope that somebody was in the crowd mm. that can put it, make change somebody's life. Mm. That's how that's how it used to be to get on to get into Hollywood back in the day. And that was just like 15, 20 years ago. What year? Nigga, every year. That's how you got on. That's that's just the way to get on. You get on. That's why they never paid at the comedy store or nothing out there in L.A. Mm. It's because the stage, you can change your life. So so you had to hope. So just imagine all these internet niggas going out there now. Mm -hmm. Like, this shit is it's easier, like, now. Like, shit evolves. Man, I think, you think it's better now? Yeah. Hell yeah, it's a lot easier. That's why I'm good at it. Because I know how easy <laughs> it is. I know how easy it is compared to what it used to be. Right. Like, it used to be hard, nigga. Now it's it's like before when I used to do comedy sh comedy shows at college, I couldn't curse. Now mm. you can curse your ass off. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's certain shit just evolves and comes better. We do it so the next generation, like, it's a lot easier. They just don't know it. Yeah. It's just like we didn't know how hard it was. You know, your kid, like, they don't know how good it is they got. You know what I'm saying? Some kids don't know how good it is they got it That's out That's all they know. It's all they know. Mm. It's like white people. They don't realize they they fathers' fathers made this world good for them. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Not necessarily for us. So Not so. And it wasn't for them. It's just like we do for our kids. We made this shit good for our kids to to the world to be good for our kids. So it's the same thing. It's just they don't know it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like they getting the benefits of us, man. Like what? Now what do you what do you what do you think about the international explosion of comedy? Y'all like the new rappers. Y'all having like a like one of y'all biggest years. You think so? I know so. This shit like rap. I think that come with um just people want to just hear stuff now. It's like podcasts it's, and everything. People just listening. It's more like Asian com comedians and goddamn Indian comedians. Like it's like they doing comedy all around the world. That didn't exist like a while ago. It did a little bit. It's just now it's like I think it always did. It's just magnified with social media and stuff. It's just like it, like it, comedy evolved. Because I mean, before before the internet, nobody, you used to, like, remember how people like, that's an instrument, he's not a comedian. Now, people just see him as a comedian. Now. So it evolved just like music did. It went from okay. one form of music to, to this, to that, to this, to that. Now it's, then it went to hip hop. You see what I just evolved to anything. Comedy doing the same thing. It's not just stand up. Mm. Comedian is. A different way to be funny. Yeah, it's a mm. different way to be funny. It just evolved. Just got to evolve with it. It's like now stand up could be considered like jazz. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's like you still love it and this, that, but at the same they've evolved into jazz evolved to hip hop. You think the young guys out there respect the crowd? It ain't for them to respect. Did you respect? I mean, well, we probably did a little more. Of course more. we did. But Fuck they didn't teach us. But, but they taught us to respect it. We didn't teach them to respect it. So we have to, I mean, we are now, but there was a gap where we didn't. You Man, know what I'm saying? We taught so, them with our actions. Yeah, but they We didn't. were the example. We were the change. We hoped to see what the fuck happened, Duval. Nah, we was fucked up. <laughs> what do we you mean? We just didn't have cameras. Nigga, we had cameras, half of us be in jail. 
Like we just in that <laughs> camera. I, I, we'll be in jail. I mean, shit. What generation? Well, ain't shit changed, bro. It's just we just see it. No, shit changes. Nigga, you was worse. Hey, listen. Okay, I'm like, not trying to. I'm not listening, bro. Okay, like niggas, it's we just old now. We sound like them old niggas when when we used to listen to rap. Like they up here listening to Biggity Bop. Uh uh-uh. uh. That nigga, that's how our mamas were. They ain't like rap. Now we sound, you sound like them motherfuckers. Like, we don't do that. Shit, that's what we doing. Like, they, they, they don't respect the thing. Man. They were saying, like, remember I cares what? This ain't hip hop. Nah, man, we was. And they used to say that all the I'm time. I'm just asking a question. I don't, you know what I mean? I'm just asking if that's what veteran comedians, if they feel like that the younger guys who come on from Insta, get on from Instagram, if they feel we like. We can't they care about them because the at the end of the day, if you're doing what you're doing, I'm. I, I consider myself a trailblazer, so I'm giving them something to follow. Right. So whatever I'm giving them to follow, if they follow that, it's a win. If they don't, it's they on them. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it don't matter to me if what they doing down there. But I'm that'll filter itself it. out. If they fucking up, just like it's just like music, like mm-hmm. like one hit wonders and shit like that. There's right. like you gonna always have them. Right. You gonna always have motherfuckers that just, but the ones that stay, well, are the good ones. You know what I mean, right? Comedy is a culture, mm-hmm. much like hip hop mm-hmm. culture. I think it's one and the same, hip hop and comedy. I mean, I'm just saying, like it's comedy, Jen. Dig what I'm saying. If we allow hip hop to be watered down and kind of like misrepresented, and motherfuckers don't respect it, oh, it's too late for that. That's what's going to dilute it, and once it becomes so diluted. That's what too, it was too it late for that for social media. Social media did that because oh. it gave people, anybody a platform to get a couple laughs. So that makes you feel like you might be all right. Mm. You see what I'm saying? It's kind of like the the Comic View boom. Right. Like when Comic View came out, you had niggas that had one joke. Right. And you had a job. And they got on Comic View and everybody they Start touring. Start touring. Yeah. Same thing with the Instagram boom. You had a bunch of mother, like, you gonna have people outshine this shit like DC Young Fly and all that, cause they're the elite, but it's gonna be a thousand other motherfuckers out here. Mm. It ain't gonna have no work. Mm. It ain't gonna be fucked up. Why it's gonna be fucked up? They got more, they have opportunity. Nigga, it's like if you been, say for instance, if you had a job, mm-hmm. working a regular job and this pays you a thousand dollars a a week, okay. or two weeks, or whatever, thousand dollars every two weeks, mm-hmm. somebody tell you they gonna give you $2,000. Like, fuck this job. That's good money. Mm-hmm. That ain't good money in, in the big scheme of things. But you I mean, build, you know what I'm saying? Let's say, I, yeah, but I'm saying, listen, this is over time. All right, you're making this for a year, two years, mm-hmm. five years. You done made up to $5,000, but you done built your life off of this. Mm-hmm. You're not really that good. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You just came off the boom. Right. The boom done died down. You're not that good. <laughs> so now what? you done built, hold up, now you done built this lifestyle off of this off of this money but you're not making that no more mm-hmm. so now you stuck in that right because that's what a lot of comedians are now a lot of the ones that came out the comedy view boom mm. like they came out and they was they didn't propel up right you'll see it in you see the in instagram you're gonna see it what you mean you'll see it i mean it just happens it just filters out you just got to make sure you ain't a part of the filter it's just like rap all of it filters itself out yeah ecosystem will work it out i mean but she, when she i think there is a such thing as oversaturation there is, but it's too late for that now. It's too late, so now we just gotta live with the shit. You gotta live with the bullshit, but then you create more shit. I mean. Like, it's gonna be all that shit. Like, it's, that shit don't stop, man. We gonna be saying the other shit bullshit 20 years from now. What's that? They gonna be saying, man, that, it, like, the Instagram niggas gonna be complaining about some other shit, like, that ain't comedy. Like, what? <laughs> it's just how it go. It's a trickle down effect, man. Like tell me, so tell us some philosophy that little that like little I Duval's words. Top, that's, I ain't got nothing written down. You ain't got nothing written down. It just comes out. You know, I have one. You know, What's I say that? it all the time. If you live for the cheers, you will die by the booze. Nigga, that ain't yours. Nigga, I haven't heard that before. Huh? I didn't heard that before. That's that's my uncle told me that. I think so. <laughs> oh, I thought you said yours. My microphone way bigger than him, man. Yeah, you I thought you said yours. It is mine. Oh, I said st- it, nigga. Um, didn't I? So you said that's like say, so. What if Martin Luther King stole all them verses? I had a dream. Just man, I think somebody like helped him write it. Nigga like the nigga told man, that's my shit. I think you know what I'm saying. That's my shit. It's just like somebody helped you write your jokes. 
No, not really. No, no, not really what? They haven't. You still got talent, but shit, you can get ideas from other things. You, I, I'm not saying it's wrong to do that, mm -hmm. but it's, I, I don't really, and I don't even put that much in it like that, like to, because the way I'm trying to do with comedy, I'm trying to evolve into something else, so that there with writing joke for joke for joke, for, I do that even in my Instagram, That's but actually on stage doing that, I don't care enough about so, it like So that. when you have your set, what you do, you go up there and would you talk shit? I have my ways of doing like I might go up there, I have something I want to talk about, mm -hmm. and like I do it in like bits. You get a bit, you're like, all right, let me see if that work. Or I slip it in with the other jokes that do work, and once, if that work, I take another joke out and put that in there. When you know when the joke, you've been telling that joke too long? Sometimes when you get tired of it, or sometimes shit, if if, they, if nobody heard the joke, you do keep doing that motherfucker. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> It's the truth, nigga. That's what, nigga. What you thought, Joan Rivers and all them, nigga? They had. I was watching, nigga. They had uh, um, cabinet full of jokes that they had what? that they done had said over the years. You got to think it's always a new generation that ain't heard the regular joke. That's why you can always tell an old joke mm -hmm. over and over, a knock knock joke. There's always some people that ain't heard it. Right. Same thing with music. It's always people that ain't heard it, a new generation. Uh, we be like, you ain't heard that. Hey man, tell like right, listen, me and you gonna tell a joke. We're gonna see whose joke is funny. I ain't got no joke. You got a joke, man. Mm -mm. You're a fucking comedian, bro. I ain't a good one. Come on. <laughs> how about that? Man. That's how you get out of shit. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. You, you know how nigga try to help you a comedian. You're the best <laughs> out here. No, I ain't. No, I ain't. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to tell you a joke. Nigga, we supposed to be done. No, no. <laughs> you almost had it. You almost had it. When niggas say bye, nigga. Bye. <laughs> bye, y'all. Hey. <laughs> I'm going to fuck with y'all. <laughs> hey, but look, so in closing, here's the joke. Guy gets to heaven, meets God. He starts to question God. And you say, man, if you're really a God, tell me, what is, what is a million dollars to you? Right. And now, nah, hold on, wait a minute. Nah, I, I told the joke wrong. I fucked. <laughs> I already fucked the joke up. <laughs> all right, wait a minute. This shit too potent, man. This shit. All right, so look. Guys up there with God, man. He questions God. He said, God, if you so, if you so such a big shot. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. You interrupting my joke, not bro. A comedian, bro. <laughs> you not a good one. I told you that. <laughs> yeah, I just told you that, man. Man, let me finish my joke, bro. Yeah. All right, thank you. Oh, I am a good comedian. Don't ever get fucked <laughs> up. You don't be on this shit this long in different generations and still be po oh, and still be popping. Mm hmm. Twenty years, nigga. So now about this man. Man up there with God, man. He said, God, man, if you such a big shot, tell me, man, how long is a million years to you? He says, God say, a million years to me, only a second. And then he said, all right, well, if you such a big shot, how much is a, a billion dollars to you? And God say, a billion to me? Like only a penny. <laughs> then the guy say, well, let me borrow a penny then. He say, God say, all right, give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> that was nice. Yeah. You didn't like that joke? That was a good one. Huh? <laughs> you got me. I can't even... You didn't get it? No, nah, you, you, I got it. You, you did your thing. <laughs> you want to go on the road with me? Well, you want to go on the road with me? Do that, do that joke on the road with me. All right, come on. Uh, I'm dead serious. I'm gonna get it better now. Nah, like next nah, time I'm I'm a, I do it. I'm gonna put you on my. I mean, let me go ahead and promote you. Let me see what my next show. Wait a minute. Uh uh. Nah, you, you know just I got said, some shit to do too. Nah nah nah. You just said. <laughs> did he just agree to it? Okay. I agreed at one point in time. I I come and do that joke somewhere. Yeah. I'm just fucking with you. You oh, oh so you don't want me on your goddamn stage? Not really. You don't be putting motherfuckers on no way. Hold on. <laughs> that was five mics, say. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> five. <laughs> that goddamn five. I ain't gonna even talk about him on here. <laughs> You're a good guy, though. Man, you know, I appreciate you for coming, man. All right. Hmm? Hmm? Oh! We have a word of the week. That's a, tra that's a tradition here at Expeditiously. 
Word of the week. Usually something that has something to do with the discussion or something that uh, comes from the attitude of the guest. Uh, it's always selected in a way that is befitting to the guest of honor. And today, this word is very much like my guest here. Not a big word, but an important one. The word of the day is droll. Droll. D-R-O-L-L. Anybody knows what drolls <coughs> is? D- drolls? Wait, wait. What'd you say? D-R-O-L-L. You Droll! <laughs> Have you done my- Do you know what the word droll means? It's not even a big word. I just told you. Droll! <laughs> that's, some, that's some Florida shit. That's okay. some Tallahassee shit. Yeah, that's some Florida shit. Okay. So, all right, look, man. Droll means <laughs> curious or unusual in a way that provokes dry amusement. Mm. That's you. Droll. Say what I am again. Who curious am I? or unusual in a way that provokes dry amusement. Now, mm. I'll tell you what I do. I'm going to use it in a sentence so go you ahead. can go ahead and you can use this word like you done known it all your life. I'm sure they will. I uh, bet that up. <clears throat> As the class clown... Lil Duval had a droll comment for every point of the discussion, but look at him now. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Cause that was me for real. <laughs> droll, all right, I like that word. Yeah, man. Yeah, I appreciate you. Thank you again for coming to join us here on Expeditions. Thank you for having me, man. Yeah, man. Was this better than time, Joe Rogan? Man. No. <laughs> no. I'm not gonna no. You don't I mean, even but, know, cuz. Uh, that's cool, but I mean. <laughs> It was a bigger purpose for that. It, you know? What? It really was. What could be bigger than this? Nigga, all our fans know each other. That, that was, <laughs> <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nigga, shit. They didn't know me. I didn't know them. My, yeah, we, I brought I brought the world together, baby. <laughs> and you asked me what I'm doing in this world. Come on now. <laughs> Man, you a funny motherfucker, but you know who's funnier than you? Your Ooh. mama. Yeah, she is. Your mama is hilarious. No, my mama's a fucking. She needs a show. You should put her. You, now that's who should come on stage with you and do a joke. I, 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 I would, but as funny as she is, she is like sensitive too. Word. You know? So, after, I, I have to protect her. I would never have guessed that. She's a, she's a woman. She's an older woman too. So she, I mean, she cool, but I don't think she can handle this shit. Mm. I don't think she can handle. Your mama seemed like the, the I don't give a fuck is high within her. Not as high as it is in me. <laughs> so she probably gave you all her. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't give a fuck for real. Yeah, that's the case, man. If, it, if people knew how hard, like, it's, I'm trying to give a fuck. Like, nah, I I'm want not. to. No, I'm talking about if you knew how hard, how hard it is to give a fuck. Right. Nigga. It's a lot of work. Nigga, it's hard for me to give a fuck. It's like, a lot of work. It's hard for me to be offended a lot of times. Like, I, somebody else have to tell me. That you he, should be offended by that. Yeah, it's like, oh, okay. <laughs> oh, should I? <laughs> Shit really don't be bothering me, man. Like you can't let a motherfucker catch out there, Karen. They find out you kill. They twist the knife. Ain't too much I care about besides my family, like that. You know what I'm saying? I care about people. You probably this ain't never been in love. I am in love. I'm you, in love now, nigga. You in love? Yeah, I got an old lady. See, that's the difference. Saying you got no, I'm in love. With okay, her. okay, all right. I'm in love. Okay. And I'm, that the love, the being in love. I think we changed. soulmates, kind of. That's dope. I do. That's dope to be the family. I think we more soulmates than we is up here, cause up here we, she, we still different, but down here it's just it's just natural shit, natural. It just falls in line. Yeah, that's a great thing to find that. Yeah, that is amazing. So, but love didn't change you and make you care about more. Yeah, it did. When I, I mean, when I understood what it was, like I always got it naturally. Mm-hmm. Like I was, like even as a kid, like I don't remember my uncles and daddies ever telling me they loved me, but I felt it. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like I, ne- I don't I, remember hearing "I love you" a whole lot. Me neither. Kid. But so it didn't. It wasn't like I it had to how hear much it. I tell my kids and shit. Yeah, that's hear. what I'm saying. So I learned how to love. Just like my mama told me she's like she tell me I love you now all the time. When she yeah, talking. but I don't remember. Well, I don't even I think I love it was yous when I got there when I was a kid. Yeah, I was just fucking I love yous. Cause we wasn't taught like that just in our generation, but now we understanding that. Yeah. That's how dumb we was younger. Like what I was saying earlier, like. You don't know what you, you don't We're know. We're slowly evolving. We evolving. Into a, a understanding of understanding of what's right and what's wrong. Like right. now we see, like, oh yeah, that was fucked up. Oh yeah, yeah we was tripping. So the same thing. What was I talking about? Yeah. <laughs> we were talking about how much you in love. How much you? Oh yeah, I love. So I love my old lady. Yeah. All right, man. She's a good woman, man. Well, man, you say you want to go, but your ass won't leave. Oh, I've yeah. been trying to get your ass up out of oh, here. You, you will not leave. That. 
Stop that. Okay. All right, man, this has been Expeditiously. Lil Duval has left the deal. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe to the Expeditiously Podcast right now on Apple Podcasts and Spotify.